Hey guys, this is Eric Weingartner with Weingartner Racing. Today's video is a product review. Um, for those that don't know, I do reviews on different cylinder heads or anything that gets um, sent in and uh, try to share it with you guys. Mostly cylinder heads because that's pretty much what I do. Anyway, if you want to get your product reviewed or, and this is a bigger one, let's say you're a head porter or amateur or whatever and you want to see if you're, what your head flows or what you could do to improve, you could send it in to me. It costs 30 bucks and I will flow it and I'll make a video. And if you want me to share it, I can, but that's up to you. And I'll give you my opinions on uh, what, what you could do better and things like that. This, however, is a uh, customer just sent this in. He's like, have you seen these heads? I've heard about them. I don't sell this particular head. Um, and asked me if I would do a review on it like I did some of the other ones. And I said, sure. So what head is this? This is the Promax. And I believe it's their 200cc head. And he wanted me to do a review of it. Now, I've got heads in the background for a reason. The Promax head is a Chinese copy of the Brodix IK head. Notice this is the IK 180, so it's a little bit different. Look at the chamber. Look at that. that. Now, look at these. It's the same. Now, this one's a 180, so it's got the fame, but chamber's the same. Everything's the same. This one's a 200. This is actual Brodix head, this IK200. Now this one has chamber, um, CNC chamber work done, which I'm gonna do another video on later. But same head, so the port though is the same. Now I'm gonna shine a flashlight in there and you can see it's the same thing. So anyway, let's talk about some of the differences then we'll get through those. First off, this has a 202, 1600 valve. So does the Brodix version. This is, which I don't know how well the camera's gonna capture it, it does have a five angle valve job on it. And let me show you what I mean. For those that don't know what the five angle is, there's different angles. This is a used head, so they've been running it. I cleaned it up just to kind of show you. That's the, where the seat is. That's what actually makes contact with the valve. There's your upper cut or top cut. Undercut, barely an undercut, and there's another one that gets blended in by, it looks like they do a bowl blend using cartridge rolls right through here. I will say it's not as smooth as it looks. There's actually a ledge right there. Well, you can see how my uh, pointer's moving, but there's a ledge there. Same thing here. Now, on the exhaust, usually you have a 45 and you got a radius. There's still some carbon here, but this actually looks like a multi-angle instead of a radius. Brodix also uses the five-angle valve job. You can see one, two, three, four, and that's supposed to be the fifth. There's our CNC bowl blended, so they're not done by hand. So there's a difference. This is the imitation. I did measure this the throat, which would be the distance from here across diameter. And typically you're running around 90% for most porting. So amateurs are um, trying to be safe, you'll be at 90%. You can go above that, but you need to really know what you're doing. Anyway, 90% safe. This one measured in at 90.8%, which isn't bad. It's a little bit bigger. And the reason why um, talking to Promax before at the PRI show, they actually put their own valve job in, so chances are it makes it larger once they do that because they get more aggressive to get all their angles in. So there's that. Here are some things. These are the valves that came out of it. This one's, although clean, it's still got carbon on it. This is the intake valve. I'm actually kind of surprised in the intake valve. This right here is the seat angle. This is your um, back cut. The back cut's actually really wide, so this thing should flow really good at the lower lifts because of that. Typically, when you get a, long, a larger uh, back cut, it helps out the low lift flow and it might hurt the peak funds just a little bit. In the end, though, you end up making more power having the back cut. Um, typically, and this is general, your back cut's typically about half or twice as big as your um, seat angle. And that one's about that. And most part, you can't have it happen because there's not enough material. So, in, in other words, generally, it should be wider than your seat. And, it, and this one is. Brodix, on the other hand, on, um, and it also like even some of the AFRs, are about the same, slightly larger. That's it. So this one being as wide as it is, should have good low lift. And we're going to see in a minute. And there's that. Now, some other things to point out. I do like, I know it's been ran, obviously, but you can tell the deck surface finish from right here. This surface finish is really nice. I've, I've never liked the surface finish on the Brodix ones. Um, you can tell it's much rougher. However, this is much smoother. Now, it could be because that's a harder aluminum than this one. So, easier to machine. I do like something else that they have, too. 
I'm assuming that these came this way from Promax. All indications say yes. It does have a raised up guide plate. Brodux and many others don't use raised guide plates. But here's another thing, the seals. These are a different type of seal than what Brodux uses. These ones are actually a little bit cheaper. They're not metal clad. Brodux uses, and most others use, seals that look like this. They've got, these ones seal really well, and they've got a metal ring. However, not to discount this. These actually seal really well because there's multi-steps uh, here. The only thing I've ever had a problem with is sometimes these metal rings pop off, and people will find them in their, see right there? They'll find them in their oil, especially this top one. This is a little mo more scary. However, they work fine. They, they really do stop well. Good working seal. Um, they're not the cheap one. I mean, they are cheaper than the other ones, but they are really they will do their job appropriately. Also, they've got seals on both. Brodux on a lot of the other heads they have, since I'm comparing it kind of to their imi the imitation to the original, on their IK heads, they'll put seals on both as well. Um, their other heads, they don't. They only put them on the intake. But there's both seals on the intake for the IK heads the proof is there and that one's buried but anyway they've got them on both what i do like about this is you see that it's an id locator what this is that's the spring but to keep the spring from moving they've got this id locator it's not just a shim that's great because Brodix doesn't they'll just put a shim and the pocket itself is meant to help it from moving so i do like the id locator thing that that's a that actually costs more and it's worth it so good job there the exhaust port, by the way, let me see if I can flip it around. Ooh, I'm doing my best here. There's your exhaust ports. They're just like the IK ones. Virtually identical. So, you get the idea. So, there's that. And the intake ports, by the way, are a 1206, just like the, they are from the Brodix one on the 200. So, that's good. And the casting itself does look much smoother than the Brodix. I'll give you that. And you can tell. Now, that's another thing. Brodix, they are CNC gasket matched. No matter which one you get, 1206, I mean the 180s, 200s, even the 215s, they're all CNC gasket matched. These are as cast on the Pro Max. Now, I'm going to uh, pause the video real quick so I can set up to show you inside the port so you can see how they, how they look like. This is the insides of the intake port. There you can see the short side. Notice how it's tilted down. Guess what? So is, it's exactly how that one looks. They are identical because it's a copy. Anyway, so there's that. Um, that pretty much gives the basics or of this part of the review is what you need to know as far as the head. Um, so far it looks really good. Uh, it's a Looks like a pretty good hair. We're gonna put it on the flow bench and see how it does. And I'll be quite honest with you, and I haven't floated yet. So I'm saying this without seeing the numbers. Chances are this one's actually gonna outflow the 200 um, IK from Brodix for a couple reasons. Biggest one is the chamber. That I didn't do that, and I need to. I need to talk about the chamber real quick. This is the one thing I do not like. Let me turn off my light here. Tilt this down. I just remembered. Okay, the, it probably will flow more because if you look here, it comes a nice transition into the chamber. Very nice, right into it. There's no ledge. If you compare that to the Brodix, do you see that? Now, I have videos on how to remove that and how much it helps pick up CFM, but getting rid of that ledge really helps. So that hurts flow. This one doesn't have it, but I don't like this. You see this right here? What it's doing is coming off the top cut and going flat and then in that. See, Brodix doesn't have that. Theirs just has that ridge, and if you blend it out, it's supposed to be like it should. This, there's no port work to fix that. This is, I it's a clear indication of Chinese heads. For whatever reason, they do it on almost every one of theirs. Um, it will come off and there'll be a flat. And I think it's just the way they mold them or something. But what it will do is it makes it flow better at one and 200 of uh, valve lift. And the reason why is because the valve just barely open and it has so much more area exposed. At peak lifts, it just like, it doesn't have the, I don't know, I'm not describing it right, but the um, 
divergent cone of flow is removed because it's just coming off and flatten out. It should be like a gradual, like a cone leaving out. Think of a reverse funnel coming out. That's how it should be. Instead of it's flared out in that way. So at low lifts, there's more area exposed, so it flows better. And I mean really low lifts. But at peak lifts, this disrupts things. Now, good news is it's not on this side because it'd be a killer if it was all the way around. It's only right there. Yep, and slightly right there, but mostly there. So it's not going to hurt as bad as some of them. There was an LS3 head I've done a video on where that was all the way around and disgusting. This is just right here. So it's not ideal, but I don't like it. It will definitely flow better at 1 and 200 valve lift, but that doesn't build power at the higher lifts. Now, I do think, and I haven't floated yet, it's going to outflow it. Reasons why, there's no ridge in the chamber. It's got more back cut on the valve. I think those two, and the throat itself is bigger. Because I think the, which would really be this one, the IK has like a throat of 89%, so it's smaller. So this one's probably going to outflow it on the intake side. I don't think it will on the exhaust. Because this one's got a nice radius seat. But we'll see. I'll compare it honestly. I'll flow it on a 4030 board, because that's imagine what most people are putting this on is a 383 or a 350. I'll flow it and uh, compare it with the uh, Brodix numbers and you'll have your own opinion on the head then, or at least the information, you can make your own opinion. All right, let me get to flowing it. Here is the Pro Max head on the flow bench. And I want to show you this because the flow numbers are coming next and yeah. Um, all the heads that I flowed that you're about to see were all flowed in the same manner. 430 bore. This is a uh, radius entry plate. It's not clay to kind of keep it more consistent. Although my clay, you wouldn't know this and I'm going to show you, but the clay for each port is always kept the same. So they, they don't really change that much. But just to keep it even more consistent, all the stock heads are flowed on this. Okay, so there's that. It's got the same spark plug used in all tests too. Same head gas, get everything. Because it's about to pain me to show you these flow numbers. I am not a Pro Max dealer. Now I can get them, um, and I, I I do sell some. But I this is probably the only head I don't sell. Well, I say that. I'm sure if someone wanted to order one from me, I'd sell them it. But in general, I don't sell this head just because it's an imitation of the Brodix head, and I am a Brodix dealer, so I I try not to. But I sell their big block heads, and I don't mind doing that which I know they're probably a copy of something else too. And their LS heads, I sell those as well. But anyway, Chinese head copied something else, but the flow numbers, it pains me to show you this. Um, before, I'm gonna say it one more time. They're not paying me for this. Some guy just sent this in. I'm not making a dime off of any of this. I'm just sharing results. So here you go. These are the flow numbers. No exhaust pipe, by the way. So the ones I care most about are four, six, and one, which I couldn't do one inch of valve lift because those seals I was telling you about, by the way, I used the spring uh, wrench in here to hold the valve up each time I flow so it's not getting some sucking and some extra air for something else. So these are 100% accurate. But anyway, that seal, the retainer will touch that seal before it could get to one inch valve lift. So the most I could get was 800. But if you look, 400, 240 almost really it's it's not bad for 200 cc head 600 uh let's see 271 pretty good for that size of head and peak at 276 and it keeps flowing up it's not losing flow so good and that's a 202 valve exhaust like i said is going to be pretty weak here and then it starts doing pretty i mean decent not really great on the exhaust side and that's what you get right. let's compare it to the others all right this is the one head it imitated Give me a second here. One man show here. This is the Brodix IK200 head. That's it here. That's the Pro Max. So if you look, 400. The IK is 224, almost 240, much better. 600, 256 to a 271, much better. Vomiting in my mouth saying it. But it is better. Exhaust side, 400. You're at uh, the IK's a 156. 
to 160. So they're close, but it's not at peak, about 20 CFM down. So it's much better than the IK head, Chinese versus American, but it gets worse. Remember, I fool a lot of heads. So if you go back and watch one of my videos a long time ago, not even long, maybe a year, I did a comparison between the Profiler 195 and the AFR Raceport 195, float them both, and I've got their numbers. And we're gonna see how that compares to the Pro Max. And here comes more bad news, or good news, depending on how you look at it. Okay, so bear with me on this. This cylinder one here was the, let's see, I didn't, did I not note it? Nope. The cylinder one here is the Profiler 195, I believe. Yep, this is Profiler 195, this is the AFR Raceport 195. That's still the Pro Max. So let's compare the three. So we have Pro Max, Profiler 195, AFR 195, American, American, Chinese. And that's 200 cc's, 195, 195. 400. The IK is 240. Profiler 137. AFR 240. 600. 271. 274. 270. So they're close. It's actually a little bit better than the AFR at that point. The profile is a little bit better there. Let's do peak, which is 800, 276, 265, 279. See how close it is? On the intake side, they're really close. Exhaust side, no. 400, 160, 165, 177. Peak, 188 at 8, 212, and 196. So on the exhaust side, AFR and profile are better. But in all fairness to that point too, this is a stock exhaust port height. And the profiler and the AFR are raised up slightly. So yeah, it's impressive. It really is. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that That's impressive for what it is and for the cost that it is. Although it's honestly, it's only like maybe a hundred bucks cheaper than the American head. I can't speak to its durability or how long it lasts because I don't have any experience with that to be able to tell you. I can't speak to the quality of the valve train besides just looking at it and what I've showed you. I can't speak to any of that. Only thing I can speak to is that the flow numbers that I've shared with you and the other stuff I've shared with you and that's all I could speak to. Um, performance wise it looks like it's gonna be pretty decent and I'm sure several people are running it but um, that's what it is. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. You guys take care.